Hey guys, it's Bill. Well, just out here doing a little trailing today. Had a little bit of time. Got uh, just a teensy bit of sunlight left. Probably fixing to have to go ahead and head on back. Uh, just wanted to touch base on a couple things and uh, tell you guys a couple little stories. Maybe three. They're a little short ones, so hang in there. Um, they've been a little bit of controversy on uh, bushcraft packs and what kind of gear to carry in them. Well, I'd be ashamed to show you what's in mine. Along with all my fire techniques, um, I've probably got a lotter. Probably do. Uh, along with all of my other little kits I've got, I've got a pretty big medical kit. And there's a, a reason for it. Um, I keep looking around because I thought I seen somebody over there earlier. Might be a Bigfoot. Never know. Um, anyway, I had my six-year-old son. We were hiking one, uh, going camping one day. We showed up kind of late, and it was dark, so we were hunting firewood. Six years old, in the dark, with a flashlight. Next thing we know, we hear this piercing scream. By the time we found him, of course, he wasn't far away. It was just dark. So by the time we found him, he's laying face down on a stump, split his jaw wide open, tripped over it. A stump where some man hacked down the tree, left a stump sticking up. Remember, save the trees. Uh, without all the, the fancy stuff in my pack, he would have been scarred up pretty good. I mean, I had uh, the stuff to, to dress him up pretty good. I've run across a guy one time riding a three wheel bicycle up this big old mountain. His foot slipped off, chain popped off, or something. He ran that sprocket up in his leg so deep. Uh, with what I have in my pack, we was able to get him back on the road and fix his chain. <clears throat> I had a guy, a friend of mine, 18 miles deep, Big South Fork Trail. Uh, there were some kids with us. They went ahead and uh, they were standing behind a rock and they were going to jump out and scare all of us when we got to the trailhead. Well, they did all right. They jumped out because a swarm of yellow jackets hit them all. They had stepped off the trail and got into some yellow jackets and it eat them up. Well, because I do carry a lot of stuff in here, um, I had enough Benadryls for all the, the kids that got hit by the yellow jackets and I had some extra Benadryls and I offered the, the guy that was with me one. Well, he refused it. Said he didn't have to worry about it. But 15 minutes later, he was laying on the trail. He was crapping on his cell. He, his throat was swollen up. <clears throat> and uh, he had defecated just all over his cell. It was a horrible scene. He was dying. Uh, and uh, I offered him the Benadryl then. He couldn't swallow it. It was too late. He was swollen up. Uh, so I started sharpening my knife. And... Uh, he said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to wait for you to go out, and then I'm going to trach you. That's all I know to do. Um, so that little bit of scary in him, we was able to force it down the corner of his throat into his mouth, the Benadryl, and he recovered just fine. Uh, so, you know, guys, overpacking ain't that bad. You know, we all got responsibilities. Uh... I got a responsibility to make it back home to my family. Uh, it's my responsibility to wear safety glasses when I'm blazing these trails. It's my responsibility to wear gloves. You know, I watch these videos and I see a lot of guys with band-aids on their fingers that are videoing. Well, that means they got cut. Uh, and they had a band-aid. Well, what would happen if they had got cut much, much worse? It can happen. Uh, I'm sure there's people do it out there every day that don't video it. Um, I nick myself all the time. So, and I've, I've run across a whole bunch of stuff, including I've seen a ghost in the woods. Oh, yes, I have. That's a whole other story. Um, on Big South Fork Trail. Anyway, uh, guys just kind of wanted to touch base. Uh, on what you carry in your pack. I mean, it's really not that. Whatever you want, whatever makes you feel comfortable, uh, whatever makes you feel responsible, 
just put it in there, take it. Don't matter if you can make it or use it. Uh, half the time I got so much stuff in my pack, by the time I get home, I find stuff when I start unpacking that I was looking for while I was backpacking because I've just got it packed full of everything. Uh, anyway, guys, it's all about responsibility. So you got to stay safe out there, and uh, Happy New Year.